Well, actually, there's a couple of trends. Uh, first, there's all the uh, organizations are moving to all IP networks for all their communication needs. So that's obviously um, helping them build an infrastructure that's ready for machine to machine. We also have a proliferation of devices, uh, mainly driven by um, lower cost chipsets for, for mobile um, devices that are connect that can now connect to the to the internet, whether it's your fridge, your car, uh, your, your picture frames or anything else. A third trend is really the ubiquity of, uh, of mobile data services. Um, 2G, 3G uh, and LTE services are available everywhere in every country right, to a growing number of, of, uh, of consumers. In, in the early days, networks were optimized for voice. So really, um, we were talking about predictable traffic, human-to-human um, -human communication uh, networks. And in the last 10 years, we've seen mobile networks being optimized more and more for data, uh, for high-volume data. So 3G was all about data, uh, HSPA networks, CDMA, VDO networks were all to optimize data speeds. Um, but still, we're talking about human be type of behavior and, and, and more predictable traffic levels. Um, moving forward, uh, we see networks um, trying to optimize for uh, very high connectivity or hyper-connectivity. So with a very large number of devices accessing the network, first we're going to have to scale to billions of connections, not necessarily high throughput, but very unpredictable and bursty uh, type of traffic. Well, as we said, we, um, we're seeing networks being now optimized for hyper-connectivity and, and the Internet of Things. Um, that, that results in a lot of different um, areas where networks optimize for human behavior, uh, let's say two, two voice calls per busy hour, now going to devices that have a totally different um, um, usage of the network. It could be devices doing one SMS a month, or it could be video cameras streaming video in, in real time. So the usage of the network is, is totally different. Um, the scale uh, is totally different. Uh, we're thinking here about 10 devices for every human subscriber. Um, but also the security needs are quite different with machine to machine. Well, there's four main areas that we see machine-to-machine um, -machine having an impact on. The obvious one is device management. That's part of uh, what we call subscriber data management. Obviously, the subscriber is obviously the human ear is the device, but that's an area that is uh, very highly impacted, uh, needs higher flexibility, higher scalability, uh, higher security than, than what we see today for human-centric type of, of uh, platforms. Second area is policy control. Um, a lot of uh, the, these new applications will need a feedback loop that's managed by the network and that needs to be integrated into the current infrastructure. Um, third area would be performance management and monitoring. Um, being able to actually know what's happening in the network because you're not controlling these devices necessarily. Um, and fourth, obviously the way these devices communicate uh, is using messaging, whether it's SMS or messaging over IP, so that um, that side of the network is also very much impacted. LTE um, unleashes very high throughput, and what this means for machine to machine is that it makes possible some applications that we, we didn't think were possible before. Um, things like just enabling a better video streaming uh, type of capability. Uh, why is this important? It's because in machine to machine you have two different um, business um, interests. One that is high volume, like electricity meters, where basically you want to have as many devices as possible, but the um, revenue per device is fairly low. And then you all have other type of, of applications that are high value, uh, like medical imaging, and security, where you may not have as many devices but need very high throughput um, and very high quality of service. 
So this is where LTE makes it very interesting because it helps operators uh, balance their revenue streams with M2M, not just with high volume uh, applications, but also high value applications.